Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for July. Hope everybody is doing really well. I am going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Pisces out there. Um, so if it, that's a situation for you, check your other signs and placements and see if those readings may contain your messages. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, so get in where you fit in. And as always, Pisces, please do not try to force a reading. That's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Pisces? Pisces. All right, Pisces, you are starting out with the Five of Wands. You have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, and coming out together, you have the Queen of Coins along with the Six of Wands. So I can see that there's um, something here that's ending for you. Um, I do believe that it ended in conflict, and I, but I'm seeing here that you are successful. You're very successful with regard to your money, um, you're feeling good about things. The Queen of Coins is a very stable energy here, um, and you're feeling success in this. So even though something is ended in conflict, it does seem, and it could be that you're feeling conflicted about ending something for some of you, but I do see you being very successful. It looks like your money is looking really good right now. There's a lot of attention to self. There's a lot of um, self-care going on here. Um, there's a calmness in the energy in spite of the conflict. So let's look at the person who's in your energy. All right, so the person in your energy, we have the chariot. Sign of Gemini. We have the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the queen of cups. A lot of, a lot of, uh people in their environment here. Now, this is somebody that um, I do feel like they possibly could be a business leader or they could be a manager of some sort. They're definitely somebody very attractive, somebody that people tend to listen to. They gravitate towards this person. And this person does have feelings towards you. They're very, very much um, focused on you at this time. But it seems like you're focused more on your finances or your money. I'm wondering if you could work with this person possibly for some of you. But this person is highly focused on you and they find you extremely attractive. They're holding you in high regard. And this is somebody who is um, wanting to move forward. They want success with this. So this, uh, let's look at the energy between the two of you. The Page of Wands. Yeah, there's some flirtation here. This could be a new, this looks like a new person. You have a little bit of um, conflicted energy about this. You're, you're, <laughs> you're not sure about this person, but they're sure about you. This looks like a brand new person. Let's see what's affecting. Okay, so something ended here in betrayal. That might be why you're having this conflict in your mind about this, this new person. Um, I do see that betrayal has affected this, has affected you, um, and it's affecting this connection. Um, I do feel like there were some deep emotions. There was a very painful ending, and that painful ending is on your side, Pisces. So you might be kind of worried about whether or not you, you know, can commit to this person, if you want to commit to this person, or if this person might do the same kind of thing. Um that somebody in your past did. Let me see your outcome at the end of the week. The Ace of Swords, yeah. Looks like you're gonna have a conversation. It's gonna bring in clarity. Um, and I like the way that this is ending. This person is gonna most likely declare their feelings for you. They're gonna let you know that they really do hold you in such a high regard. So they're very attracted to you and it looks like someone new, Pisces. Um, and I feel like that is going to be exactly what you need to kind of settle yourself and to feel like, yes, you can accept this, that this is a grounded energy. This person is grounded. There's success attached to it. So I really do like this energy for you. Bottom of the deck, we have the high priestess in reverse. This is underlying energy. 
And it's basically the energy of not really being um, able to trust your own tu intuition right now. Hence, we see the conflict. That looks like it's pretty much internal conflict, um, but based upon your past history here. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the five of wands here? All right, so two of coins reversed and the king of swords reversed. Yeah, so... The conflict is because you dealt with somebody who was dishonest, somebody who wasn't very, um, they weren't very good to you. This is somebody who caused a lot of imbalance in your life, not only emotionally, but it looks like, you know, financially as well. Although I do feel like you've recovered for, on both, both counts. Um, it's just bringing up the past is what it looks like, because this looks like a new person, but there's a... a you know, it's bringing it up. It's it's bringing those things up to be healed, Pisces, and that's a good thing. Um, I do feel like this past relationship, you were pretty angry about how you were treated. Um, and I do feel like it for most of you, it was a marriage or it was a long-term connection. So let's see why the Ace of Wands is in the reverse. Just make sure you're not punishing somebody new for something that was done by someone else. All right, so we have the emperor in reverse and we have the world. So, yeah, you may have even thought that this person from your past was a divine partner. Um, this person from the past could have betrayed you. Um, they could have, you know, been cheating on you. I feel like you're putting an end to that, though. And actually, this new person that's come into your life, Pisces, is helping you to end that cycle. Yeah, the, there's definitely a feel here that you dealt with somebody in the past that cheated, they lied, um, they weren't honest with you. And they may have even been very controlling or even narcissistic, but you're ending all of that. And this new person is assisting you to do that. So let's look at your bottom energy. You know, those emotions don't just go away. They have to be dealt with. And I feel like you're you're now dealing with them. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Swords in the reverse. We have the Nine of Wands. And again, we have the Success card. We have the Six of Wands. So you are successfully putting an end to this pain, to this feeling of betrayal. Um, this is past energy. You're You're wrapping it up so you can begin a new cycle. I feel like somebody just wore you the heck out. You you really did want to overcome all these problems with this past person, but it was just lie after lie, betrayal after betrayal. And I feel like, you know, it's caused a lot of distrust in your energy, but I definitely see things coming through for you. I see a commitment coming through for you, and it's going to be very successful. So let's look at this person who's in your energy. Spirit, why is the chariot here? For the person in Pisces energy. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Page of Cups, and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this person doesn't want to argue with you. They want to move forward with you. They want to balance things out. This person actually feels like they've been led to you, that they've been spiritually led to you. Again, I'm seeing this is a new person, and this person is is opening up their heart. There's flirtation here, so, you know, they're flirtatious, but they're also very sweet. The Page of Cups is a very sweet energy, so I do really like this. I feel like this person feels that you are their wish. So, let's see why the King of Wands is here. Sagittarius energy is very strong. Scorpio's here. All right, so we have the High Priestess and, again, the Page of Wands. So this person, they they have um, a deep attraction towards you, but they're going to come across as being very playful. Um, and they it's not them that is not listening to their intuition. This person is actually really tapped in here with the High Priestess. They're in a, um, they're in a very high energy, and I'm seeing that they're coming towards you in a very flirtatious, very... Um, almost like a, a, a fresh, young um, energy. It, th they could even be younger than you, but it's a it's a good energy that they're coming towards you. Yeah. Um, let me see. And, and I don't feel like they're going to come on too strong. They're coming in like playful, you know? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why is it? Thank you. 
Queen of Wands reversed and the Death card in reverse. Okay, so Pisces, um, they do want to make sure that you are not still attached to this other person. That there's not still, you know, some things that are, you know, that, that needs to be dealt with with that other person. Um, I do feel like this person may have had feelings for you for longer than what they're telling you, but they didn't act on them. Um, and maybe because they saw that you were going through some things here. I feel like this person has had feelings for you for a while. So, but they are realizing that you're wrapping up something here. So, they also seem to be very understanding. Yeah, they seem very understanding. I like the energy, I'm, I'm telling you. And I like your energy here too. Why is the page of wands here? Ah, you're getting justice from the past situation. King of Cups reversed. Yeah, this person's not going to come on too strong. But they do feel like you are you are the perfect person for them. This person's going to bring balance into your life. And it's bringing justice for what you went through in the past. So I do feel like things are balancing out for you here. It's a karmic justice. This new this new person is your karmic justice. Um, so kind of let go. Let let this see where this goes because I feel like it's going to be very healing for you. They're they're coming forward, but not in a very you know strong way. And they also want to make sure that you're not still associated with somebody that you were in a past relationship with. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. <laughs> I like this. So, again, you're healing this betrayal. You're healing this painful ending from the past. And as soon as you, you can heal that, this person is looking to see that. They're, they're testing the waters with you, Pisces. They want, to, they want a beginning with you. You're kind of holding back from it because you still are getting rid of this unfinished business. But with the Hierophant here, I, I'm seeing that there's some major changes that's coming in your life. It's You're getting karmic justice, and this is a commitment too. So you're putting an end to this painful energy so that you can enter a new stage in your life where you will be open to commitment. And this person definitely wants to have a, a connection with you. With that Ace of Wands, they're very attracted to you. Let me see your outcome. But again, I don't see them coming on too overly strong. So I, I like their energy. I like your energy. It's good stuff. This is one of the better readings I've seen for you in forever. All right, so... We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Now, that's a little, little bit concerning. And then we have the Seven of Swords reverse. All right, so I do see this new love coming in. I do see it being successful. Um, however, there could be still some unresolved issues that you have here. This is going to be a really nice relationship, but there's still some unresolved issues. And I do feel like you're looking at this person like, you know, are they going to cheat on me? Are they going to do this as well? This person knows you don't trust them. I do feel like they're trying to be very transparent, but they're also protecting themselves. And they're making sure that you're not still connected with this person from the past. So I do feel like you're both kind of, you know, feeling each other out on this. You're trying to... You know, you're trying to make sure you don't go through another painful betrayal. They're trying to make sure you're you're available and free. Um, and I do feel like this person's going to be transparent with you. I think I feel like they're going to come forward, and there's going to be a really big discussion. And it's ultimately going to um, it's going to start. It's going to have a new beginning attached to it, a new beginning in love, and it's going to be very passionate as well. I do feel like this person has held back from this connection for a while, though. They may have, for some of you at least, um, they may they may now just be revealing their feelings towards you. They may not have felt they could act on it before. I am still seeing a little bit of stuck energy here, but you will successfully move past that. It's just a matter of time. All right, so bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. 
This is underlying energy and it does tell me that you are gonna be taking action on this or this person is. I feel like most likely this person is. I feel like they're reaching out to you in a very flirtatious way, in a very, you know, small way, you know, trying to just test things out. So I do see them taking action on it. Very nice. All right. I have brought back my Angel Answers card. So if you want to get a question in your mind, I'll see if I can find you an answer. Spirit, I am pulling for the sign of Pisces. Well, that was quick. And look at that. Recovery. And this is you coming back to yourself. You're recovering from this painful ending that you experienced in the past. This person is going to actually be um, helpful in, in you coming back to yourself. Now, I'm not saying that they're the answer because, you know, we all know that you have to find those. Um, you have to recover yourself. You have to find peace within yourself. Other people can't do that for you. But it sure doesn't hurt to have somebody who is, you know, sympathetic to what you've been through, understanding and you know, willing to be patient and loving and kind with you. And it does look like this person is. So I, I love this reading for you. All right. I hope this has been helpful. If you have resonated with this, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.